Hey everyone, it's uh, it's been a while. Can you believe that? Surprising, huh? <clears throat> we used to do this on a regular basis, like every, I don't know, every few weeks or so. Now, it's been quite a while since we've had a new hero added to the roster. But, considering some of the news that came out over the past few months regarding Heroes of the Storm, I'm sure some... For some of you, this is not surprising that we've had this huge gap since a hero has been added to the roster. I've actually been thinking a lot about that, but I'll probably discuss that after we take a look at our new hero here. To no one's surprise, really, because a lot of people were calling that this was going to be one of the next heroes added, Anduin, the now current King of Stormwind. As a young man, Anduin sought peace as a priest of the Holy Light and an envoy of the Alliance. After his father, Varian, fell to the Burning Legion, Anduin took up the crown as High King of the Alliance. He soon learned that peace must be fought for, even in the Nexus. So, of course, he's a healer. Uh, let's look at his skins first. This is his basic look. You know, the young... Uh, you know, somewhat armored, and yet it's still, it's kind of a mix of the current look for Anduin with his armor, um, while also having the, uh, the cloth, you know. It's like they're going for, he's part paladin, part priest type of look here. And, of course, he has Chalamane on his back. So, this is the Darkshire Anduin. This is the Red Ridge Anduin. I really like this look. This is the Westfall Anduin. This is the Neo President Anduin. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, I look amazing. Neo Vigilante Anduin. <laughs> Neo Steel Anduin. Ooh, sparkly. Ref yeah. <laughs> and this is Elwyn Anduin. Elwyn Forest, of course. Alright, so... What's his kit? Well, he's basically a holy priest, which is not surprising in the least. His basic heal is Flash Heal. Again, no surprise here. 30 mana, 4 second cooldown, cast for 0.75 seconds to heal for 260. Divine Star, send light that deals damage to enemies and then returns to Anduin, healing allied heroes in a wider path healing increased by 25% per enemy hero hit chastise T 10 second cooldown 40 mana shove a well a swell I'm sorry shove a swell of light forward dealing damage to the first enemy hero hit and rooting them for 1.25 seconds his trait leap of faith <laughs> faith instantly pulls an allied hero to Anduin's location granting them unstoppable while they travel Boy, this could be either very, very helpful, or this could be very, very trolly. You know what I'm talking about. If you played this game long enough, you know what I'm talking about. Holy Word Salvation. Again, straight up Holy Priest. After half a second, channel to invoke the light for three seconds while nearby allied heroes heal up for 25% of their maximum health and are protected. Protected, by the way. <laughs> Light Bomb. Imbue an allied hero with the light. After one and a half seconds, it explodes, dealing 150 damage to enemies and sting them for 1.25 seconds. The target gains a shield that absorbs a damage per hero hit. Lasts for five seconds. So they're both useful. I have a gut feeling this is going to be the one that people mainly go for. Giving them protected? That's kind of a big deal. So he's got a lot of passives in his talent tree, I noticed that. Not a lot of activated stuff until you get to 16 and 20, but it's mainly like buffs and passives. Basic attacks enhance flash heal to heal for 115 over 5 seconds. Damaging enemy hero heals the lowest health hero for 28. So AoE healing from attacks, kind of like Brigitte in Overwatch. Anduin gains his other level 1 talents, but his flash heal's cooldown is increased by 1 second. His flash heal has a 4 second cooldown, so this makes it a 5 second cooldown, but you get both of these. So, Divine Star uh, fires basic attacks at 2 heroes. 
for 70% damage. After hitting an enemy with Chastise, Anduin's next basic attack has 50% more range. Inner Fire. This, this has an interesting history, this talent right here. Not necessarily as a hero talent for Anduin, but as a uh, talent you chose for priests back in the day. From what I've heard, back in vanilla, people wondered if Inner Fire was part of a build for the Discipline Priest, where... Back in the days, like, of the alpha before it went live, there was discussions that Dis was actually supposed to be a tank spec or a melee spec. Could you imagine that? If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out Preach Gaming's uh, Legacy of the Priest video because he talks about that, how uh, when you looked at talents like in her fire and such and the idea that Dis Priest was could have been either a melee spec or even a tank spec <laughs> kind of makes things kind of funny and interesting, doesn't it? So I just laughed when I saw this talent here because I remembered that little bit from that video about the legacy of the priest from back in vanilla. Uh, flash Casting Flash Heal on an ally heals Anduin. Okay, that's kind of like what uh, Uther has, not surprising. Power Word Shield. Yep, another straight up priest talent from WoW. There's going to be a lot of that here. If Anduin loses more than 8% of his health... Recover 15% over 3 seconds. This has a 10 second cooldown. That's really nice. While Divine Star is traveling, gain movement speed. Gain 5% movement speed. This bonus is tripled when Leap of Faith's cooldown is available. Damaging an enemy hero. Grants 3% movement speed up to 15%. If Flash Heal is cast on a different target from its last, refund 40% of its cooldown. After Anduin catches Divine Star, it explodes, healing nearby heroes and damaging nearby enemies. Inner Focus. Reset the cooldown on Flash Heal and its next cast heals for 40% more. 20 second cooldown, damaging enemy heroes with Divine Star. Reduce the cooldown by 10 seconds. Wow. And Lightwell. Another funny talent with a history for the Holy Priest from, from WoW. Someone like, well, the periodically heals a nearby allied hero for 75. The will only fades after healing. Now, from what I understand, back in the day, um, this didn't do like a, a, a AoE heal over time. You had to have your, you would place it down. Again, this is from straight up from the Legacy of the Priest video from Preach Gaming. Um, you would place it down and your teammates would have to click on it to get a heal. And your DPS teammates were like, I am not sacrificing my DPS to click on a heal because you can't heal the whole raid. <laughs> it was a funny little bit. I, I thought that was really funny. So I, I thought that was really funny when I saw this. Light of Stormwind. Holy Word Salvation's healing is increased up to 30% of maximum health. And upon ending, allied heroes gain movement speed for 3 seconds. 40% movement speed. Leap of Faith gains a second charge. Varian's Legacy. Basic attacks burn enemies for 87 uh, damage over 3 seconds, and anyone heals 50% of the damage dealt. Activate to desperately heal an allied hero for 540, but kneel for 2 seconds, unable to act. Using Desperate Prayer places Flash Heal on a 10 second cooldown. Wow. So, hmm... Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I think what I may go with a basic build just to like try things out. This is first impressions because I didn't really mess with them in the PTR. Let's try this where you get both of these. Probably Inner Fire. Maybe Blessed Recovery. Holy Word Salvation. Or or Light Bomb. Just see what, you know, how it how it can be. Uh, this could probably work well with this right here. So I might take that. Or take this, push forward. <laughs> hmm. Alright, well, let's get into a game and try it out. Turn the sound back on. Uh, 
So, you guys wouldn't know this, but I've actually been playing this game less and less and less. I hate to say it, but I'm actually starting to fall out of love with this game. There was a period of time I loved this game, and I played it so much. My level's up to 1425, as you probably noticed. I've played this game a ton since it was out, since it was in beta. I didn't get invited to the alpha, but I was able to get in when it was in beta. And, you know, I've played it a ton since then. But lately, I've just been having less and less fun. And it feels like there's this whole... I'm not sure how to how to say this or describe it. Be vigilant and true. But it feels like there's this whole feel or mentality or I don't know around the game and its community that the game is dying and that many people are just angry and upset and sad and like the f it feels like the game is getting less and less fun. And the com community is having less and less fun and hope and optimism about the game. There's just this... It feels like a negative vibe around this game. But when the developers are saying they are starting to support this game less and less, you know, the fact that there's no esports scene, the fact that... Oh, hold on. Let me see how what this is like. And go and flash heal. Whew. Get back here, Tychus. Boy, the fact that that is an 80 second cooldown. Yeah, you have to pick the timing of when to use that very, very, very strongly. You have to be very careful about when you use it and pick the timing. Like, like you have to pick extreme circumstances to do it unless you can get a way to reduce the cooldown but i don't recall if there was a talent where you can actually reduce the cooldown of it Ooh. well i can tell you this i'm already starting to get low on mana Oh, okay, so you can't click the heel and then move. It cancels it. See that? So you have to stand there for a bit in order to make sure you get the, the cast of the heel off. So you got to be very careful on that. All right, so two minutes in, and I am oom. So 30 mana, and yeah. So 30, 45, and 40 are the mana costs for this. This doesn't cost mana. It just has a big 80 second cooldown. Alright, now let's see. Inner fire! So I can tell you this, he's not a melee. He does have Shalomane, but you can see he's throwing out, I guess, you know, little bolts of light. So he's not exactly trying to be a melee warrior or straight up paladin like Uther with the hammer. Just tossing out little things of light. Is this good wave clear? Eh, yeah. Uh, well, okay, not really that much. It hardly did any uh, damage to the wave. So don't rely on divine star to do any legit like wave clear that's not the purpose of that ability you could it's just gonna take a long time Boy, when they bunch up like that right there, that's that's great for this. Whoop! 
You see the increased healing because I hit so many of them right there in this little little alleyway. So you know how, so you know how as a healer, you try to cast a heal and your teammate runs away from you in the wrong direction so you can't get the heal on them? Now you can use Sleep of Faith to be like, get over here! And that way you can cast the heal on them. <laughs> Look, I've healed in this game and in WoW. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever played a healer. You know. You know. All right, there we go. Put that there so I don't act, you know, have to worry about clicking it. Just gonna put it out of the way. Boy, don't you just love how ineffective AI teammates feel sometimes? I know I love that. <laughs> Let's get this tower here. <laughs> uh, boy, that's funny when you see that Anduin is at the top of damage. I guess what I'm not realizing is how much that is actually doing. How effective... The oh, look at that crit healing I just got. Because of how many enemies I hit with Divine Star. You know what? I think... Of course... Yeah, there we go. Wow! My strength. All right. Of course, it's funny. See, you know, you got Arthas and Anduin here together. Considering, well, you know what I'm referring to. You know. The thing I still. You know, even though I've been, you know, talk, I was talking about how I feel like I'm not having as much fun with this game. There are still times where I see these matchups and it just makes me smile. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's go with this. I think that would be great for fights on the point. Yep. So you can see it doesn't really do that much wave clear. Not really an effective wave clear tool. I mean that I mean that time it did, it does decent damage to the minion wave, but you shouldn't rely on it for wave clear. It costs 45 mana every time you use it, so this is probably why at times I felt like I was going oom. Because I was using it to wave clear. Which you can but this is definitely going to cause you some mana problems. Very clearly, that's what's going to what's, what's going to happen here. Good thing I can cast flash heal on myself. All right, let's get in there and see how this goes. And then the fight ends. Fine. 
There we go. Let's go, uh, Sippy Cup. And yes, that is, uh, the horse that, uh, he was using in BFA. It's a new mount that was added along with Anduin in this patch. It's like, alright, I don't care if I'm the healer, I'm taking control of this, because I can't trust the AI to actually do anything decent with this. Alright, push forward. I guess get over here. Will you two just get over here, please? Alright, now go away. Service is noted. You know what I have been playing a lot more of? More so than this. Wow. I know. Shocking, isn't it? A lot of people are talking about how WoW is in such a bad condition, and yet I am enjoying playing that a whole lot more than I'm playing this these days. Alright, let's see how this new light well functions. Arthas. <laughs> I'm like, dude, get back here. <laughs> Boy, this feel, that leap of faith, you know what that feels like? It feels like Stitches is helping hand. That's what it feels like. You have another helping hand here with Stitches. So if you get Anduin and Stitches on the same team, woo, people are going to get yanked. Oh, and that doesn't even count Garrosh's uh, toss for teammates. Ah. 
I love how they just... Alright, yeah, Tychus actually ran by the light well to get healing. Alright, that's funny. So it looks like it's just staying there. Interesting. Wait, can I put another one down? Oh. Wait a minute. Whoops, whoops. Oh. Okay. All right, yeah, this is definitely a good place to put it right here. You want a place where you're going to be healing in a certain specific little place, little area? Yeah, right there. Oh, they interrupted my cast! Thrall, get back here. I made it where he couldn't run away. That was great. I am definitely enjoying Anduin's kit. There we go. Oh, I love this medic. Someone could use a priest. Someone could use a priest. Hmm. Let's try this. Right. Get over. Get to the light well. Cindergosa, huh? These mercenaries would be wise. There we go. Uh, Terminal activated. Taken 
Look, I'm burning the core because of that level 20 talent. <laughs> I can tell you right now, though, that's not going to be a go-to talent choice for Anduin. <laughs> there are going to be others that will take some of the other more interesting talents to choose. Very interesting. Very enjoyable kit. Yes, a holy priest did that much. But then again, that's just always been my play style. I've always been one of those that excels at getting siege damage and soaking and getting XP for my team, regardless of what character I play. <laughs> so if you ever need someone to soak and get siege damage and XP, I'm your guy. <laughs> but I'd say that's pretty nice healing numbers. So I don't think this is going to be the go-to build for Anduin at all. But it's just one of those kind of like, you know, just a, I don't know what you would call it. A safe build, maybe? A casual build? I, I don't know. Alright. So, Anduin. Interesting. Um... Uh, if you can... You know, people always ask, like, hey, should I buy him? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Can you guys tell I'm just not really as enthusiastic about this game as I used to be? That's kind of what I'm getting at. In fact, for a little while, I was actually considering stopping making videos on this game altogether. I actually felt a little reluctant to do this video, honestly. Just because I feel like I'm not as into this game as I once was. <sighs> I really hope something changes. Something happens that helps revitalize this. This game, I mean. But also the community. The community is a, a part of it. I'm just getting tired of all these horrible, nasty, terrible people. It's a, it's a very harsh reminder to me that this is why, for a long time, I never touched multiplayer games. I only played single-player games because I didn't want to deal with other people. <sighs> we'll see what happens in terms of Heroes of the Storm on this channel going forward. I really don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but... We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys next time.